Fresh water is a limited resource that is predicted to become more stressed and less accessible as world population increases. Farmland irrigation is a major consumer of precious fresh water. Broadcast irrigation is a widely used method to water crops in the United States. One issue that comes from broadcast irrigation is that it can create runoff that can carry pesticides, fertilizers, and other chemicals into natural waterways or into drinking water. In some areas, there is not enough fresh water to irrigate crops, and this can lead to low yields. We all depend on a successful crop harvest to have enough to eat. Because of issues like seasonal droughts, climate change, and other weather phenomena, we need ways to stretch fresh water supplies and make the most efficient use possible. We designed the plastic potato to meet that need. Our goal in designing the plastic potato is to maximize crop yields by making the most efficient use of water possible. Plastic potato provides important data to farmers such as soil temperature and moisture content. The data can be used for important decisions such as when to irrigate, plant, harvest, or fertilize. It can also be used for a more thorough analysis of soil conditions over time, giving the farmer a good idea of which parts of his field are chronically water deficient or saturated. Plastic potato isn't just one sensor, it's a whole array of sensors. The sensors are planted in the field with the crop, and they stay in the field for the whole growing season. When the harvest is over, the plastic potatoes are removed with the real potatoes, or whatever crop is grown, to be refurbished and reused next year. Our sensor node is powered by the Atmega 328P processor, a great microcontroller that can be configured to be very low power. It talks to these two sensors, the DS18B20 temperature sensor and the SEN0193 capacitive moisture sensor. The moisture sensor is an analog sensor and uses the analog to digital converter on board the Atmega 328P. The DS18B20 uses the one wire protocol. The sensor node communicates with the collector node via an HM10 Bluetooth 4.0 module. We use a rechargeable lithium ion battery for long life and dependability. The sensor node spends much of its time in sleep mode to reduce power usage. Periodically, the node will awaken to take a reading and to notify the collector node that a new reading is available. The collector node then collects the reading and stores it locally. The collector node is a Raspberry Pi Model 4 with embedded Bluetooth connectivity. It connects to the internet and sends the data to a storage database hosted on Amazon RDS. Any SQL variant or time series database can be used, even on premises, but we wanted our data to be accessible from anywhere with internet access. Now I'll show you how the plastic potato is designed to be used. If a single node is placed in a field, we can take a reading of the moisture and temperature at that location. However, the farther the distance from the node, the less certain we are that the reading at the node is correct for a distant location. If we add a whole array of nodes, we can interpolate values so that we can give a more accurate estimation of the moisture and temperature between the nodes. This data can then be used during the next watering cycle to water the exact amount needed at a given location in the field, leading to better usage of water and elimination of runoff. Here we see the functioning plastic potato node. This one is node number four. It's connected to a DS18B20 temperature sensor and the capacitive soil moisture sensor. The blinking light means that it's taken a reading and it's ready to transmit. Using Python, we scan for Bluetooth signals. The nodes are identified by the MAC address. Once the program finds a node, it connects, as seen by the solid red light, and reads the data. Once it disconnects, the light will continue to blink. You can see here that there's now data in a file on this machine. Now we can push the data in this file to the database using the other program that we wrote. This will connect to our Amazon RDS database and input a new table row. Here you can see the Grafana dashboard showing the new entries for plastic potato node number four.